The rainstorm caused havoc to many senior high schools in the Upper East region, but one of the schools badly affected is the Bogatanga Girls Senior High School. The school's library, home economics block, science laboratory, French center, and one of the girls' dormitory were ripped off. The school's water tanks were not spared, compelling students to join long queues to fetch water for domestic use. Some students tell City News the situation is negatively affecting academic work and impressed on government to intervene. Wednesday night, we had a rainfall, a heavy rainfall. So all the lights went out on campus and the students were trying to run out to go to the various dormitories. Majority of them got hurt, the twins fell and then our science labs and our chemicals, everything was destroyed. Our French lab too was also destroyed. The various houses too, some of the roofing sheets were also removed. Our physics lab where we conduct experiments was badly shaken. The roof is now off. All our documents were wet. Being a French student myself, the destruction of the French center has really harmed me. Because we had a lot of books there we read and a lot of computers for our research. And because of the rain that's all been badly destroyed, the roof is off. Our home economics block where the home economics students have their particles has also been badly damaged. A team led by the Upper East Regional Minister Stephen Yakubu and NADMO officials has visited the school to assess the extent of damage by the rainstorm and take measures to manage the situation in the interim. Upper East Regional Coordinator of NADMO, Jerry Asamani, assured that NADMO in the few coming weeks will provide relief items to support affected schools, rehabilitate affected structures. In term, what NADMO can do, first of all, is the inspection. And secondly, the collection of data. Not until you collect data, you will know what you are preparing to assist with. And then you must also know the personnel or human beings that are affected. After knowing the total number of human beings that are affected, you have to categorize. Are they men? Are they women? Are they children? Are they pregnant women? That is where the relief items are prepared and said, I mean, uh, assisted relatively, okay. if not. So what we are doing now is not actually presentation of relief items, but to take data and be able to inform government to prepare for the assistance. Regional Minister Stephen Yakubu directed that some remedial works be done on the affected structures while they solicit funds from government to rehabilitate the structures. We have asked that uh, they should get a carpenter uh, and then so that the carpenter will come and uh, they will reinforce some of the leaves that are almost out and are not out and then also clear the place nicely because it's uh, it's also not, not nice, clear the trees and also some of the debris that are around. And then together we will talk to National, not more, and also contact uh, Get Fund and then also Ghana Education Service uh, to see what uh, we can do.